Hello, everybody. Just wait till all the machines catch up to each other. <laughs> there we go. So uh, now I have just somehow lost my comments. There we go. Oh, yeah, one of these days this will be just smooth as butter. <laughs> one of these days. All right, everybody. Let's see, I'm gonna wait and actually see if people start showing up and saying hello, and I'm gonna to try to pay attention to the comments. I'm also gonna to remember to say, hi, I'm Tracy, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher, coming to live on my paper pusher Facebook page. I have, uh, I have a, all sorts of show and tell tonight, and I have a big important ask to start things off. I'm gonna post this video on YouTube and I'm gonna send out an email as well. So if anybody misses the uh, misses the beginning or you're catching this live or whatever, not to worry, you haven't missed it. And I will make sure I, I give it the widest distribution. So yeah, our healthcare workers. Man, the pandemic hasn't been easy on anybody and um, just wanted to be over. But I would think that more than anybody, our healthcare workers are wishing this was over. Nurses and healthcare workers have certainly gone above and beyond. They may have chosen that as their occupation, but certainly would have never foreseen the last 18 months of what they've had to go through and worst case scenario now. So my dear friend Tamara came up with the brilliant idea to give them a little fun in their lives, a little bit of a mental break and maybe help them out with their Christmas cards this year. So she's doing a fundraiser. And what she's, what she's come up with, and I, and I, I know a an amazing group of people and I'm thinking maybe we just help her out. So what she's come up with is for this kit, which I mentioned last week. So the kit that is the October paper pumpkin kit, it's gonna come out and other than the fact that we see this box and we have an idea, it's called Peaceful Christmas. It makes 10 Christmas cards. These are some of the colors and it goes with the very cool, um, it coordinates, I guess, and I'm gonna, Ooh, I'm going to risk a landslide there. It coordinates with this suite of products. So I would, I would assume that we might see something like that on the inside. Um, but it's, it's, it comes in a box like this. This is not the exact kit because nobody sees the kits till after the, the sign up deadline on the 10th of October. 10th of October, birthday for a few important people I know. So, but the kit will come like this. It'll have instructions. It'll have um, a spot in it, an ink spot, it'll have a stamp set, stamp set, it'll have a stamp set, and it'll have all the stuff in it they need to make 10 Christmas cards. And it is just a nice way to sit. Crafting is the best form of therapy. Uh, just to sit and take a load off and do this. More importantly, every set we give them will come with a thank you note. Maybe not this exact thank you note. This is what I made last year, but um, a thank you note that will say your name and Thank you for everything you've done. Um, if you want to write a, a more personalized note or something like that, you can do that and send it to me and I will make sure that that gets attached to a box. These boxes, these kits generally cost $31.50. So what we're going to try to do is get donations of $30. And uh, I like this picture better. And what that will cover is most of the cost of the kit. Uh, nobody's making any money off this. This is all about nurses and healthcare workers. So I will use my commission to pay the rest of that. Plus each kit, we need to buy a block. They don't come with the block. So we'll need to buy a block so they can have someone put the stamps on. So we will, I'll use my money to do that. So for $30, you can send a kit to a nurse or healthcare worker. Tamara's goal is hundred kits, 100, 200, 300, you know, whatever we do. There's a lot of nurses and healthcare workers out there um, that could use a little pick me up at this point. So if anybody wants to, I just need you to email me. I don't think email is the right word. Electronic transfer, ETF, Pony Express, somehow, $30. And so for each $30 we get, we'll buy a kit. 
I will do all the rest. I will put your note on it. I will order the kits. I will put the things on them. I'll put the thank yous on them and I will get them to Tamara and help her with distribution of them. But absolutely, for sure. Oh, hello, Mary. Yeah, I see comments. Um, this is a group of people who could certainly use some picks. Okay. So, I'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> Not a whole cup of tea, sorry. I'll have a sip of tea. Get pull myself together. I would love, do not feel obligated in any way, but I would love it. Anybody who wants to help out, buy a kit, two, three, ten. Let me know. And uh, if you have questions or whatever, I will put the, the, my email address for the ETF, um, if that's because that's the easiest way to do it. And I will put uh, the cost and the, when it, the deadline and stuff like that. The sooner we know, the better, because then we can order the kits, make sure we don't miss out, um, make sure we have enough for however many want them. And like I said, if you want to put a special note, I know nurses and I know a lot of people who've been having treatments and various things that require nurses. And uh, so if you want to add a special note to yours, you're more than welcome to. I will be on mine. So yeah, watch for a post afterwards. It'll have some more details in there. Um, on a lighter note, because I have to pull myself together. Um, celebration, which is now happens twice a year for two months, ends next Thursday. The uh, celebration gives you the opportunity to, for every $60 of product you buy, you get something free out of this little book. Um, who doesn't love free? It ends next Thursday. I will be putting in one final order to catch anybody who wants to take advantage of this. So if you want the free stuff, let me know. And if you want to join in with my order, that will, depending on how big your order is, that will probably help you with some of the shipping costs as well. Um, I also figured out how we're going to do World Card Making Day. So World Card Making Day is the 2nd of October. And yes, legit holiday <laughs> should be celebrated the world over. Um, it was going to be an in-person event, but that's not going to happen now. But I think I figured out a way that we can have a little bit of contact in the safe premise and still get you some cards and still get a few people making stuff so that you can share the love. Now, this sample is a Christmas card. I realize that. Um, the ones that, we're, that we'll make will be birthday and thank you cards. And I will have um, sort of a buffet of cards out. So you can come grab some birthday cards. I'll have a variety of things. Some fall thank you cards. Um, if there's something specific you need that you want to make, let me know and I will try to accommodate that. I can usually just adjust one of the, what I have to make it work. But basically what you'll do is let's pretend this is the card you're making, which I realize now because my son helped me with my lighting, that <laughs> it's getting a quite the reflection. So this is the card you want to make. Let's pretend it says happy birthday and has something to do with birthdays. Um, so this is it. So you, when you come, and I will have everything set up in the garage so that you can stand outside, just, to, just out of the, the cards and everything will be out of the elements, and you can work your way through and I can sanitize between people and stuff. So. This is the card you're gonna make. So this will be sitting on the table and there'll be a little bin in front of it. And in front of it will be a bunch of envelopes and a stamp set, which I actually put away. Look at me being efficient. So in each envelope, when you get your envelope, you'll open it up and you'll open it up carefully. So as not to repeat what I did and fling all of the pieces all over the floor. And inside it, you will find, let me see if I can do that, everything you need to make the card. So here's the card base. Here is the, I'll move this over. Here's the little layer that goes on top. And I'm going to show you a tip. This is the, uh, this is the um, Scottish tip. Because <laughs> for some reason, Scottish people have a reputation for being frugal. Um, nothing wrong with that. So you notice this card base has some holly cut out of it. I will frequently do this. Because if you notice on that card, this goes over top of it. So you won't even, again, I have this. So you won't even see that little hole. I just realized that one of these pieces of paper is not cut exactly the same. I thought it was when I grabbed it, but I will fix it. So, and, and I left, it, normally I would do it right in the middle because then it would be covered by all of the stuff and there's no ch chance that you'd even see like a ridge from it. But in this case, I thought the person taking it, because you get to assemble these cards at home, might want to cut more of their own out because 
this is a whole lot of, you know, usable uh, surface area there that you can do. Because once you put this over top of it and put it on the card and arrange all your other stuff, nobody's ever going to know you cut a big chunk out of the back of it. So don't be alarmed if you get a piece like that because that works. Any card where you'll see it, obviously, I wouldn't do that. Um, so you'll notice you get some presents. You get some holly berries, or those are the holly leaves. There's a holly berry. And then I put in some blue dots. Ooh, I keep forgetting that I actually have a camera that will focus high up. Not that you can see anything, there we go. Um, some blue dots and some dimensionals. And, oh, oh, see, I did send something a little bit. And you get a big chunk of ribbon. Now, the beauty of this setup is you can copy my card exactly if you'd like. You have all the stuff in it to do that. Or you can just make it your own. I highly encourage make it your own. Uh, <laughs> anybody who has stamped with me, um, when I go to demo events and such, I will get something like this, or it will all be laid out in a box, all the different pieces. And I always change something. <laughs> the cards are gorgeous. And for some reason, I always just find it. I need to like change the orientation or I'll put, I don't know why, I just like to make things my own, I guess. So this is everything you would have. Now in the box, there would also be one of these little tiny pieces of cardstock that is, is uh, for the sentiment. I'll have the stamp set out. I'll have choices of sentiments. And then you could just stamp them in whatever color. There'll be a couple options for colors. You stamp all your stamping because I can give you a kit with all these pieces cut out, but I cannot give you pre-stamped pieces. It is against our rules, and I like being a demo too much to break them. So you'll have a bunch of these. Now, it, I might change it, and instead of putting these little pieces in the individual cards, I might just have a stack of them beside the card. That way, if it takes you one or two tries, you're still good. But everything you need to make the card. So you stamp the part you need to stamp, you put it in, you move on to the next card. And then when you get home, you can put them together. And I will be having a few different times when we were supposed to be doing in-person stuff, where I will um, set up a Zoom meeting, post the link on my VIP page, my internal Facebook page, and anybody who's picked up a card kit or anybody who has a kit at home or anybody who's knitting and just wants to join us or not doing anything, drinking wine and wants to join us, can join in and we can still have a bit of the social aspect of putting cards together, but we can do it in a safe way. So that's what my plan is. So we'll do that for sure for the, the 2nd of October, you'll be able to come out and pick up the cards and do a little bit of stamping. And then we'll, we'll plan the Zoom for after that. And then for the Christmas stuff, same idea. I will, I'm reworking all the dates. Um, I keep constantly changing things. Uh, I was gonna do a craft sale. They changed the date of that. So I was in the process of reworking all the dates for the in-person stuff when they added the restrictions and now I can't do the in-person stuff the way I want it. So now I'm gonna revise that. So one of these times I will, I will actually settle on something. And it may just be that we only settle on things a couple of weeks ahead of time. Um, I'd like to give as much planning time as possible or we'll settle on everything ahead of time. And then if we have if we have the opportunity to change it back to in-person, then maybe we just switch that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a bunch of card stuff ready, probably on Friday, just so I can give a little bit of time between what I'm posting. Um, somebody has a chance to read and process each one. I will send out the, the information for World Card Making Day. Uh, is that two weeks away now? Let me stare off into space and look really intelligent on camera while I try to find my place on the camera, or on the camera, on the calendar. Oh, that's already next weekend. Look at that. I'll have it already on Friday. Then next weekend, people can come and pick up the card stuff. Now, speaking of fun Saturdays, um, and the reason I know we can do this virtually is because the demonstrators have done a whole bunch of, in the last 18 months, all of our big events have been done virtually. And I've had so much fun doing them. Uh, I never thought I would like computers as much as I'm grateful for them now. So this last Saturday, we had another event. And with a, I'm so lucky, my team leader is awesome. And just being on her team is awesome. But she also knows other team leaders across the country. I think, I think there's 13 of them. And th um, every three months, they all get together, plan a day, and run through like every hour or so. There's another presentation, and it shows us how to make stuff. And we just use all the craft stuff we have at home, and we make the projects they're making. So this last one was called Giftables, which when I hear Giftables, I think Expendables, the movies, which I think, I don't even remember if I've ever seen that movie, but 
I think it's about like hitmen or mercenaries or something. So uh, we were, you know, we were crafted on the weekend. This makes me laugh. I love the term now, giftables. So, you know, you will see it more. And when I come up with class names, we'll be doing giftables. But this one was all about making different kind of gift holders, treat holders, different things. So I'm going to show you some of them just because they were so much fun to make. And then I'm going to I'm going to ask you to give me some feedback whether or not um, you'd like to work this into the plan, because this is the same deal. I can prepare not the actual treats themselves, but I can prepare the packaging and you guys can just come pick them up. Same thing. Do the stamping, uh, fill them with what you need at home and boom, you got yourself a whole bunch of giftables. So you'll also notice that I was just grabbing random things. I think most of mine are Christmas. Uh, they're also not all finished because we did have a marathon day of doing them. And some of them were a little more involved and I didn't quite finish. Um, but this is one of them. And this one was just nice and summery and stuff because I really wanted to try out this flower that I had bought. So in this one, I was also just grabbing whatever leftover treats I had. So you'll notice that this lovely combination of spring uh, apple cider and coffee and cream chocolate is a real doozer of a combination, but you get the idea. Uh, so yeah, you could put hot chocolate in here. You could put biscuits in here. You could put gift cards in here. You could put anything flat basically in here. Um, and there's two different layers. You could also actually put, um, you could add a card or some note cards in here. This one has a ribbon on it. I picked an unfortunate choice of card to try to stick in there, but a card will even fit in there. Sorry, I keep going off screen. Um, a card will fit in here, so you could put a card in the back and put like a little gift card or a treat in there. So this was a fun one to make. Uh, you'll notice I have a wide variety of things that are for. Um, this one, we won't be making exactly the same because I thought this was a brilliant idea until I started making it and ended up with green snowflakes, the way the dies cut this out. So then I had to make an extra cut and then an extra cut and put a thing on top and then put something else to try to hide where I screwed it up and cover it with a few other things. And so. Perhaps we'll find an easier way to decorate, but in the end, it was very cute. And these little boxes, my favorite part, the little polar bear peeking over the top. Uh, this box was specially designed. So for maybe one of your adult gift giving, I come from a Navy family, so you know, you know what's in mine. So, and these boxes can be customized to whatever size. I think they were so much fun to make. And one of the other presenters has a different box. So I'm gonna try to make a bigger square box. Um, so you can put in various different things. So we'll more than likely have a small, medium, large box option. So there was that one. Uh, there is this one, which if you buy these little packages of jelly beans at Walmart, they're buck a pack, they're an awesome deal. Come on, jelly belly. Uh, they fit perfectly in this box. And, and actually you can see that, oh, if I can figure out what I was doing, there we go. You could actually put several of them in there or them plus something else. But just as a point, because I thought afterwards, I thought, oh, I wonder if these will fit. And yes, they do. Um, I particularly love this suite. And look at this, even when I didn't have to, I still put a little bit of pink in there because I'm evolving. Um, so this, this has got the greatest sentiment. It says, love and joy come to you and may it last the whole year through. You're lucky today I decided not to sing. Uh, so anyways, you can also fill these boxes with things that aren't food. It is, it is, it is allowed. So in this case, we have some wet ones, we have some hand cream, because if you keep using these, you're gonna need this. And then, I don't know about you guys, but when I wear my mask, it just makes my nose run, which is really a vicious cycle because that's a bad thing. So you wear your nose, anyways. But this was just like a little care kit. You could put all sorts of things, but this was just to prove that it doesn't all have to be food. Uh, these, are, these boxes actually go together really quick. It's the how long you spend decorating that <laughs> takes the time. So there was that one. I'm saving my favorite for last. And then, Although it's really hard to pick a favorite because I really do like them all. So then this was a little kind of like a booklet. And this, what, so this is the same die that I used. And I had used this before I used that other one. And I knew that what cut out was this part, but somehow I still ended up with green snowflakes and like dark green snowflakes. So this one is like the whole little treat bundle. We have some hot chocolate. We have some marshmallows, which yes, by magic, they're staying there. The little cookies, which I can't even eat, but um, I know from like years and years ago, these are the ones they give you on the plane that are so incredibly delicious and a little candy cane. So you can make yourself a nice little snack. You can also put different combinations, coffee, different cookies, whatever in here. Uh, you could put cards in here. So they're just different options with different sizes. Pretend like I tied that back up. And then perhaps my favorite, um, 
And just so you know, be warned, because I decided that if I'm going to go social media, I'm going to go social media. So I'm learning all sorts of new things. And one of the new things is reels. So little videos. So I thought, well, I've got to make me a video. So yesterday, perhaps I should not make videos late at night when I'm very tired after two very long days of hockey stuff. But I did. And I thought it was just beyond funny and entertaining. And my son rolled his eyes at me. So one of us is right. I don't know. Can you see me? I don't know which way to put my head to get the thing. One of us is right um, about how funny it is. And, what, and he's wrong. Um, but nonetheless, I you will see this show up in the video. Uh, it begs the question, can you ever have too much buffalo check? Whoa. Isn't this adorable? I do like my buffalo check. And even, you will notice, the penguin likes his buffalo check. So this one took a bit of time because I, I had to like do a couple little amendments here because of how I did it. But this is a tea dispenser, a little tea bag dispenser that you just fill from the top. And actually, if you had little flat chocolates or, again, probably anything flat. Um, ooh, those, those round shortbread cookies. Those might be just the right size to come out of here. But anyways, but these are just like a nice little gift you could give to somebody. Um, so any of these are an option for giftables that we can make. Um, all right, I need to have something on my desk. Ooh, thank a nurse. Any chance you get. Don't stand in front of a hospital protest like a jack arse. Thank them. Yeah, that was the political portion of tonight's program. Thank you for coming in. Um, so yeah, we have all sorts of options for coming up and I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you some tips and some videos. Oh, hey Jenna, sorry, I didn't see you pop in there. Um, I'm gonna give you some tips. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna wow you with my, and by the way, when you watch my first reel, make sure the sound is on. Cause I think that's my favorite part. And that was the part that, that made Merrick roll his eyes the most was, my soundtrack for my reel. Uh, right now, I just, I haven't quite mastered the whole thing. I have to figure out how to put some little titles in it. So once I master that, you will see my first reel. Be ready for it, it's very exciting. So I'm gonna keep tonight short. Well, it's been almost a half an hour, but let's pretend like I kept that short uh, because we're having a doozer of a storm in Mournville right now. Wind is howling, rain is pouring, like, like raindrops like this big. Why am I, seriously, I'm, I'm like, left right challenged in here like raindrops this big beating down and then it stops and then it comes back so i have a feeling that maybe i'll have power maybe i won't but again i'm going to put a post up for anybody who wants to donate and help us send some some fun kits to nurses and healthcare workers to give them a bit of thanks i'm going to send out or put a post up for world card making day and what kits are available and what you can come and pick up and then I'd like your feedback. I'm gonna just pause stuff up now and see what mess I make. Um, I'd like your feedback on whether or not you wanna make some of these giftables because they are fun to make and I will figure out a way to put them into kits that all you have to do is, this is this is like one, two, three things that were stamped and the rest can all be sort of pre-cut and ready for you. And then there was something special I did with this ribbon, but you'll have to watch the video to find out. So there you go, peeps. Thank you very much for tuning in and hanging in there again with me. I very much appreciate it. Watch for the posts. Uh, stay dry on our wonky weather. And uh, everybody have a great night until I talk to you again. Thanks. Bye.